Lynchburg College opened their home baseball season last week with a victory against Stevenson College. After the game, I talked to Dustin Arrowwood of the Hornets. The Rustburg product went yard for the Hornets and had a pretty decent game at first base as well. Here's Dustin Arrowwood on the sports buffet. Talk about what you felt went right for the team today, uh, especially your home run there in the sixth or seventh. Um, I think we just swung it better today. We moved the runners and got people in scoring position and came out with the victory. When you hit that one to right, did you think it was going? No, sir. I was just trying to get a hit. Uh, I haven't been swinging it very good, so it felt good to go ahead and hit one. What have you seen early out of your group so far that makes you optimistic? Um, we've came from behind twice, so that's been looking pretty good. I think we need to go ahead and start getting a hit early, though. Who else impressed you from your group today? Um, I think Charlie looked good coming out of the pen and Mansfield, and I think the whole line was swung bad pretty good, so... Head coach Percy Abel gave his thoughts also. Lynchburg College was 1-1 coming into that game against Stevenson last Tuesday. They opened the season with a win at Avert 8-6, lost the next day at Greensboro 7-3. Then last Tuesday they get a big win over Stevenson 11-8 this past weekend in Fayetteville. They went 2-1, defeating Birmingham Southern and Methodist, both by the score of 7-4, and losing to Frostburg State. Frostburg State got a late touchdown and PAT to win 17 17- 10, but I talked to Percy Abel after last Tuesday's game against Stevenson. asked him what he thought went right in the victory. It was a back and forth battle. 11 to 8 was your final. Stevenson at one point was up 7 to 3. Hornets, or 7 to 4. Hornets battle back and get the W. I asked Percy Abel for his thoughts after the game. Good victory today. Obviously, I saw some bright points. What did you see that you liked? Well, I I like our offense. Uh, You know, we have swung the bat really well in the first three games. We're hitting the ball well. Uh, I like the fact that we can go one through nine and there's not a big drop off in the way we hit. And then today I saw a couple guys out of the bullpen that came in and gave us some quality innings because we have struggled with the pitching to this point. Talk about uh, kind of each pitcher and what you saw today. Well, yeah, Trevor's coming in. Uh, he, he had a couple starts last year and mostly relief after that. You know, he just he was floating his off-speed pitch a little too much today and he was leaving over the plate. Um, Matt Allen came in and did a really nice job for a while and then, just, you know, you can't pitch from behind. Right. So he, he came in and shut the door a little bit and then started pitching from behind and then, you know, you do that you're going to give up hits. I thought Thanger came in, Charles Thanger came in and did a great job. He's got a lot of fastball. He's going to come in, throw strikes, and he did a great job there. And, you know, we're using Mansfield. You know, we're using him as a, as a closer right now. And his two outings to come in, he's done a nice job. He's throwing strikes, he's got a nice breaking ball, and he can get outs. Do you think Arrowwood's uh, shot to right was gone? You know, uh, I didn't know off the bat because, honestly, to me, it didn't sound solid. Right. It sounded like he hit it off the end of the bat a little bit, but he is a very strong kid. Um, but uh, as a carry, honestly, I really thought it was going to hit somewhere close to the fence and be a double. I did not know it was going to get out. I really liked the way uh, Fitzpatrick played today. I thought he did a good job behind the plate and kid. offensively was smart. What a great kid. He um, was our team player of the game for, for our first game. We, we vote on his coaches. Uh, for, he just blocks the ball. He does a great job behind the plate. He's swinging the bat well. Uh, you know, He's a 4-0 student. You can't ask for a better all-around kid. Anything you want to do better today that maybe you guys didn't get done? We need to quit walking people. We're, we're putting ourselves in a bind early in the game with walks and giving up runs. In the, you know, we, We've played from behind almost every game, and we've got to start throwing strikes and doing a better job on the mound. What can you guys do in practice to kind of combat that and work on that? I really think it's it's because of the youth of our pitching staff. You know, today you had two sophomores, two freshmen. Um, it's going to take more outings. You know, The bullpens are great, the inner squads are great, but seeing other teams is where it counts. And We're just going to have to get them out there and get them going. And hopefully, you know, a few more outings, they'll settle down a little bit. Never will give away a W, though. Uh, congratulations Never. on a win. Never. Always like the win. Lynchburg College scheduled to be back home this week when they host Southern Virginia on Wednesday. And then they'll have a home game against Shenandoah Friday and take on VUL at home on Saturday. Three home tilts for the Hornets this week. Check them out on the campus of Lynchburg College for the Sports Buffet Podcast. This has been Bob Alvis.